Today I'll be doing a quick overview of Fan Control. Fan Control is a free software designed to effectively run fans for optimal performance. I will be going over some of the basics of this software, starting off with setting graphs that control RPMs depending on how hot the component is. So for instance, we have the exhaust fan right here. We currently have the curve set to a CPU. You could change this by clicking these three dots, then going into manual control, and then changing it manually from there. Before you begin using the software, it's recommended to just check over all your fans, make sure they're all working. So in here, you could also identify fans, click that, press OK, and then it should start running fans. What I usually do is just turn off all the fans and then fire up one at a time and see which one spins and then identify here as exhaust fans, CPU fan, bottom fans, and so on. Once you're done, click OK. Now that we have that set, we could also calibrate paired controls automatically. This will just test all the fans automatically and calibrate them to the right speed. It'll set everything to 100%. And now it's calibrating at 90% and so on. After it is done calibrating, you'll see that below each fan, it shows that it's calibrated, as you can see here. After that, we want to create some curves. So what we want to do first, if you don't have any of these curves, you just hover over the plus symbol. Then you could go to graphs. This will create a new graph and we'll name it test. Now we'll need to identify the temperature source. So let's just say we wanted to grab the CPU, the motherboard, the GPU, let's just say the GPU. And right now it's hovering at 32%. And for us to edit that graph, we can start changing the graphs here. We can set this to zero. We can set this a little bit higher if we want. And then you could manually adjust it here. So for temperature for this dot would be uh, 40 and then we'll set it to 50%. And that'll change this dot over here. If you'd like to add an additional dot, you can change, just add it here. And if you want to delete, right click. And right here we can see a max speed, minimum temperature and max temperature. Here we'll set it to hundred degrees. Once you're done with that, you could click okay. Now for us to change the curves on each fan, let's just say these bottom fans are right next to the GPU. So we'll click the curve and do test. Now it'll grab this graph and it will change the RPMs depending on the temperature. There's also various other things that you could do for each fan, such as force apply, remove paired sensor, pairs another speed sensor, calibrate, and so on. You could also add a bunch of different other things, such as offset, different files, time ranges, and a mix. And then you could also add a linear graph, a mix of graphs, some triggers, flats, syncing, and auto. So this will automatically change your fan curves from there. Now on the left side, we can see some drop downs such as theme. You could change the colors of your interface. This will change it on top. And then you could change the sample text here, here, and here to any different colors you would like. And then below that, we find tray icons. These icons right here, you could change those. I leave it at black. You could do a light or dark theme colored. And then you could sync with windows as well. If you toggle the switch. Now in settings, I would recommend you start minimized and start when user logs on in a delay of 10 seconds. This just means every time you start up your computer, it'll delay it for 10 seconds while booting. This is important because you have other things that are launching and it might feel slower when booting up if you have this enabled at zero. So I'd keep it at 10. Then you could edit some sources of sensors. So you could grab the motherboard, CPU, GPU storage, and so on. Uh, and you could do anything else here. Press OK when you're done. You can make any other nicknames and you could also add plugins. Once you've created all your fan curves and dialed it in, make sure and save it as a configuration. For me, I have it saved as game. And so when you load configurations and when you load it in, it'll change all your user preferences and you have the old dark theme and you have all these exhaust fans and nothing's calibrated. And the game JSON that created is the most recent one with all your save changes. I hope this video was helpful. If you've enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and I'll see you in the next one.